Hi everyone and welcome to Techie Review. Recently I decided to move away from Premiere Pro mainly because of its cost and I was paying for a lot of features I wasn't using. So I've started to use Wondershare Filmora 10 and this is a really powerful editing tool and in this video I'm going to show you how to import some video footage, do a bit of editing and then export and in up and coming videos I'm going to show you how to get the best out of Filmora 10. Once you've downloaded Filmora 10 and you've got and open it up, you'll see we have three main working areas. The first area, this is where we import all our video, do all our audio, everything like that. The next main area next to that is going to be our preview window. Below that, we have our timeline and this is where we do all of our editing. So then along the top, we have file and in there we can open new projects, export and we've also got another whole bunch of other features that we can use and we'll look at those in more detail in later videos. And then next to file we have edit, then tools, then view, then export and finally help. So on the next line down we have media, this is where all our media goes, then we have all the audio files, so these are files you can import for sound effects or any background noise you want to create, and that's categorized so we can sort of pick categories down the side. Next we have titles and then we'll have a look at briefly this uh, titles in this video. So if you double click on it, you might have to download it. So if you see a little arrow, you'll have to download it first. And then you get a short preview of what that title does. Then we have transitions. Again, a quick double click will give you a preview of that particular transition. Then we have effects. If we double click on the effects, we might have to download that effect. So if you double click once, it will download and then double click again and you get another preview of that effect. Next we have elements, and again, double click to download, double click again, we'll actually play that element for you. And for each of these titles, transition effects, elements, there are absolutely loads that get included with Filmora 10. Finally, we have our split screen, and again, we've got a whole bunch of default split screens. We double click and we can have a preview of what that split screen will look like. Okay, let's go back, back into media, and what we're going to do is import some of our own video footage. Now, there's a number of ways you can do this. You can go to File Explorer and then just drag and drop, or if you prefer, you can right click on the media screen and import that way. Now that we've imported our media, let's see what we can do with it. If you double click on your media file, it will show up in the preview window, which we can then scrub through to see where we want to do any cuts or edits. Just below that, we can set the resolution for when we preview it, we can set it to full or reduce quality depending on how good our computer is. Um, so it doesn't struggle when it tries to preview uh, your, your edits. We've got a number of controls here where we can sort of play, pause or go back. And there are a lot of controls here, but we're just going to do the basics, get some video in, edit and export. We'll go into more depth into a lot of these settings in future videos. So first off, I'm going to put a title at the beginning of our video just to introduce what it is people are about to see. Now, as I said earlier, there are loads of different titles that you can use. And a quick double click will download it, 
double click again and then it will actually give you a preview. So now that we have the title we want to use, there's two ways we can add it. We can just drag and drop onto the timeline or you can actually just right click and choose apply and that will drop it onto the timeline for you. Once you're ready, if you double click on that, on the on your timeline, this is gonna bring up the properties for the text that we want to add to our title. Again, there's a lot of settings here. It might look daunting, but really, it's just allowing us to choose the style, the size, those types of things. So don't get too bogged down in trying to find anything specific. Just at this stage, we're just having a quick look of how to add a title to your video. So in this main box here, this is where we're gonna type our text. Now, you've seen this as a Call of Duty video, so I'm just gonna put Call of Duty. And then below that, I'm just gonna put the date that I actually created this video. Okay, let's have a quick preview and see what that looks like. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Now, if you remember earlier, I showed you a little option that allows you to see the video render in full, obviously high quality, you can half it or reduce it. So this takes up, so if you reduce it, it takes up less processing power. And obviously the quality of your preview window is also reduced. This is just a very quick way of getting an idea of what your edits look like. Now that we've got our title sorted, let's add some gameplay video to our timeline. Now, what you can do is you can create multiple video tracks. If you're doing some clever stuff, and you want to layer layer your video you can do but what you have to remember is whatever's on top is the video that is going to come through so anything below it unless you've you're masking it or anything like that that video is not going to show so what we're going to do is we're just going to keep it all on the same video track so now that we have our video on our track i'm going to add a transition between the title and the video just to make it a little bit softer when we go from title to video. Now, again, there are loads to choose from, so find one that you particularly like, and then you can either right-click apply or just drag that down to your timeline between the two bits of video you want to use. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a quick look at what that transition will look like. As you can see, title blurs out, and the actual game footage blurs nicely in. Okay, so next we're gonna go and trim some of our footage down or take out what we don't need. So there's a lot of the beginning bit where it's just looking for players. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a section just before the game starts. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna split that. So we can either do that by right clicking on the actual video itself or using the scissor tool there to to actually cut or split the actual video. Now, there's one thing worth noting on this is that when you do this, when you delete the bit of footage prior to that, any transitions or anything like that are gonna be removed. So obviously our transition, we need to go and add back on. So we've gonna added the transition back on. And I can see, instead of being sat at that screen for a few minutes, we're now straight into the start of the game. Okay, so I'm just gonna scrub through and find a suitable place to cut our video so we can add another title or a transition title and then add some more video. So I'll go back into media so we can see we've got two more video files, but first I want to add another title to our video just so people know what we're transitioning to again find one that suits you can actually select some of these of your favorite so if there's one you use a lot you can actually add it as a favorite so we'll drag that onto our timeline now i'm keeping this one just a very simple one highlight our text and we can put in match two Okay, that. And then we go back to media and we can drag our second video down to our timeline.
Under our timeline, we've got a scroll bar we can actually use to drag our timeline left or right without actually adjusting how, how wide we want it. So again, I've got some footage. I'm going to sort of find a good place to do another, another cut or another split and take out the video footage we don't need. And what we're going to do is we're going to split or cut our video here. Now there is a keyboard shortcut which I'll put on screen for you to actually do the split for you. So we're just going to do one more split in this video and I'm going to tie the end of the mat sequence with the video we already have. So I'm just going to scrub through, find a suitable place to split and then we can add our third video clip. Okay, now we've done that, what I'm going to go and do is add another transition just to make the two look a little bit more seamless and not quite a sharp, sharp jump from one clip to the next. Now let's play our sequence and see what that transition looks like. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's go and have a look at our third clip. So if we double click on it, it's gonna show it in the preview pane. And then once we're happy with what we're looking at, we can go ahead and drag that onto the timeline. We're gonna again add our title so people know what it is they're about to watch. And we're gonna call this one Match 3. Now for this final part of our video sequence, what we're going to do is we're going to put some text over our video. Now the way we do this is go back into titles, find the title we're looking for. Now we're going to keep this simple with just, just some text. And then we're going to drag that to our timeline. But what we're going to do is we're going to put that above our current video that's on our timeline. Now remember what I said earlier, anything that goes above will appear on top or whatever's beneath it. So in this case, we've just got some text. If you had another video, you would you wouldn't see the video beneath it unless you resized it or or something like that. So here we've got the text on our screen and then we can sort of move it about where, where we want to put it. Type in obviously what the text we want and then we've got some controls where we can sort of reshape our text, color our text. So we're just going to go ahead and add a bit of color and then we can click on OK when we're happy with our text and its position. So that is very quickly how we add some text the objective. over our video. Hard point located. And then finally we're going to add a title to the end of a video just to thank obviously our viewers for watching this video and any other information we want. And again we just go to titles scroll through the library of all the titles we can use, find one we're happy with, and then we just drag that down to our timeline and edit it in the same way we have done with all the others. Now, once you've done all that and you've watched your video through from start to finish and you're happy with all your edits, all your titles and transitions, you will need to export your video ready to be uploaded to YouTube. Now, when you export, you've got a whole bunch of options you can use. Now, the very top one, MP4, is for mainly for YouTube. So we need to give our video a title, choose its location, make sure we're happy with all those settings, and then click the export button. And that's it, our video is now exporting. You'll get a little notification to let you know how long it will take, and that is it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you've got any questions, any comments, please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer. 
and please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next Filmora tutorial.